The James Webb Space Telescope is the next generation space science observatory designed to answer outstanding questions about the universe and to make breakthrough discoveries in all fields of astronomy. It is a once in a generation mission. Webb is an international project led by NASA in partnership with ESA and the Canadian Space Agency. This video will highlight Europe's contribution to the Webb mission. The international collaboration formed to build this observatory was inspired by the success of the Hubble mission and the project's partners began cooperating in 1996 to design and construct a scientifically worthy successor that would expand our knowledge of science and astronomy even further. ESA's participation in the Webb mission was formally approved by the ESA Science Programme Committee in 2003. The four major European contributions to the mission were formalized in a signed agreement by NASA and ESA in 2007. Working with partners, ESA was responsible for the development and qualification of the Ariane 5 rocket adaptations for the Webb mission and for the procurement of the launch service. ESA's Ariane 5, manufactured by Ariane Group, has been in operation since 1996 and has already completed more than 100 launches from Europe's spaceport in French Guiana. On the 25th of December 2021, the world held its breath as the Ariane 5 lifted Webb into space. The Webb Observatory had to be carefully folded into the specially adapted Ariane 5 fairing for launch. The fairing jettisoned away about three minutes after liftoff. Ariane 5 then began a special roll maneuver to protect Webb from the sun's radiation. After 27 minutes, the telescope was released and the upper stage boosted away. Following launch and separation from the rocket, Webb's Mission Operations Center in Baltimore, USA, confirmed Webb had deployed its solar array and was in good condition, marking the launch a success. After roughly six months in space, Webb will start its routine science observations. Webb has a suite of four powerful instruments that will investigate the cosmos. They are located in the Integrated Science Instrument module, behind the primary mirror. Europe played an integral role in the development of two of these instruments. The NEAR-SPEC instrument, the NEAR Infrared Spectrograph, is the workhorse NEAR Infrared Spectrograph on board Webb and was provided by ESA. The primary goal of NEAR-SPEC is to enable large spectroscopic surveys of astronomical objects such as stars or distant galaxies. This is made possible by its powerful multi-object spectroscopy mode, which makes use of micro-shutters. This mode makes for very efficient use of Webb's valuable observing time. NearSpec also offers integral field and fixed-slit spectroscopy viewing modes that will allow detailed studies of individual astronomical objects. A spectrograph is used to disperse light from an object into its different wavelengths, forming a spectrum similarly to how a rainbow is formed when light passes through a prism. Any object that absorbs or emits light can be studied with a spectrograph to determine characteristics such as its temperature, density, chemical composition and velocity. Webb's images will tell us what something looks like, while the spectrograph data tell us what it is and what it's made of. NEARSPEC was built by European industry to ESA specifications and managed by the ESA Web project at ESTEC in the Netherlands. 
The primary contractor was Airbus Defence and Space in Ottobrunn, Germany. The near-spec detector and micro-shutter array subsystems are provided by NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. MIRI, the mid-infrared instrument, is the only instrument on the telescope that is capable of operating at mid-infrared wavelengths. It will support the whole range of web science goals, from observing our own solar system and other planetary systems, to studying the early universe. It is a versatile instrument, offering a wide set of modes, imaging, coronagraphy, and different flavors of spectroscopy. A coronagraph is used to block out the direct light from a star so that objects near to it, which otherwise would be hidden by the star's bright glare, can be studied. To observe the cosmos in the mid-infrared, MIRI must be kept more than 30 degrees Celsius cooler than the other instruments in the Webb Observatory. This is accomplished by the use of an innovative cooling system known as a cryocooler, which will act as an extra refrigerator for the instrument. MIRI was developed as a partnership between Europe and the USA. The main partners are ESA, a consortium of nationally funded European institutes, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, and Goddard Space Flight Center. The European consortium institutes built the MIRI imager, spectrographs, and coronagraph to ESA's standards, and the detectors and dedicated cooler systems are provided by JPL. In return for the European contributions, ESA gains full partnership in Webb and secures full access to the Webb Observatory for astronomers from ESA member states on identical terms to those of today on Hubble, a minimum ESA share of 15% of the Webb observing time at each observing cycle for the duration of the mission. European scientists will be represented on all advisory bodies of the project and will be able to win observing time on Webb through a peer review process, competing on the basis of scientific merit. This is also the system that's used for Hubble, where European scientists have had great success in winning observing time each year. ESA will also provide 15 astronomers to the Webb Science and Operations Center at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, USA, that is responsible for both the mission and scientific operations of the observatory. The Webb spacecraft is an incredible feat of engineering and international cooperation. We can't wait to see what Webb will discover and show us about the cosmos.